Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. Let's spend these few moments with our Good Shepherd. Life isn't always what you expect it to be, is it? Life can often turn ugly and certainly often turns unexpectedly. But oftentimes life is what we inflict on our own lives. It's because we rush around in daily life. We buy into the great lie. The great lie goes something like this. If you have lots and lots of wealth so that you can buy whatever you want, then you'll be satisfied. Or if you work really, really hard and gain all the success that you can imagine, then you'll have everything that you want. Or if you surround yourself with all sorts of material things, then you'll be happy. That lie is painful for both poor and rich alike. Those who don't have much, who live in scarcity, have bought in, buy into that dream that if they just had more, they would be happy. And they become hurt by the fact that they don't have. But the rich aren't immune to that lie either, because they believe if they have more and can gain more and gain more, then they'll be satisfied. But Jesus never promised that life would be wealthy or healthy. But he did promise that we would have an abundant life. Our reading for today comes from John 10, verse 10. I have come that they may have life and have it abundantly. Now, an abundant life doesn't mean ease and prosperity. But it comes from knowing that our Good Shepherd is guiding us through life and protecting us no matter what dark valleys we may find ourselves in. A, an abundant life doesn't come from having all sorts of material blessings, but it does give a ease of anxiety, it gives a peace of mind, a contentment and purpose and direction. Medical science is trying to add years to our life. Jesus adds life to our years. And as we live in the knowledge of who he is as our good shepherd, we find that life. Even if there was no eternity for us, if even if at death we ceased, if all the other things about Christianity remain the same, I'd still be a Christian. To have his forgiveness, his purpose, his presence, his love, his companionship, all of those things are what provides life in abundance. And so as we feast on the pastures of his grace, as we quench our thirst in the still waters of his love, we find that even if we live among scarcity, our cup overflows. We pray. Lord, you have given me life and given it to me abundantly. May I never live in scarcity of doubt about how much you have blessed me. Amen. Well, my friends, enjoy your abundant life, and I'll see you soon.